In order to provide these two voltage options, the individual windings that make up the secondary winding of a single phase transformer must be connected together in a certain way. The two windings in a secondary of a single phase transformer are typically labeled winding AB and winding CD. We'll use this simplified illustration of the primary and secondary windings in a single phase transformer to demonstrate the internal connections that were referred to as conventional transformer wiring. Now, here's the primary winding in the unit. One end of the winding is connected to the H1 bushing on the transformer. In this example, the other end of the winding is connected to the H2 bushing on the transformer. Here are two individual windings that make up the secondary winding of the transformer. There are three secondary bushings mounted on the unit. Inside the unit, an end of one of the secondary windings is connected to the X1 bushing. An end of the other secondary winding is connected to the X3 bushing. The remaining ends of both windings are joined together at the X2 bushing. In an additive polarity transformer, the winding A lead is connected to X3. The winding B lead is connected to X2. Winding C is also connected to X2. And finally, the winding D lead is connected to the X1 bushing. In this way, the windings are connected end-to-end -end or in series. In most cases, the X2 bushing has at least two connections on the outside bushing. One connection is to the tank ground just a few inches below the X2 bushing. The second is the neutral connection from the X2 bushing down to the system neutral. Each winding connection, X1 to X2 and X3 to X2, provides 120 volts. A connection between X1 and X3 will yield 240 volts. With this in mind, we can begin to see what the secondary bus supplied by this single phase transformer will look like. It will consist of three wires. One wire, usually referred to as the neutral, is connected to the ground and the X2 bushing. The remaining wires, generally called hot legs, are connected through leads to the X1 and X3 bushings. Connections measured between the grounded neutral and either one of the hot legs will each supply 120 volts. Connections measured between the two hot legs will supply 240 volts.